Hi, Devon Wolf from Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. Using the buzz roll on the kit. Please watch previous videos that are available here for free on how to do a roll, then a buzz roll. So I'm not going to explain too much of that here. I was going to get kind of right into it. So the buzz roll can be played not too. as a combination between accents and other things you want to do. Uh, drags, uh, rolls, whatever. Um, it can also be played uh, just straight, right? Those of you old enough remember Johnny Carson, uh, Ed Shaughnessy, uh, when uh, Johnny was reading his uh, what was it? Karnak? Whatever, I forget. Whatever. Yeah, it was a little kid at the time. Okay, anyway. Um, okay, so we can play buzz rolls along with our feet, and please watch that so we can you can learn what I'm doing. But essentially, to, to summarize that again, the foot should be flicking, flicking on the bass drum, not burying. So when you bury, you're causing tension in your feet. So it's important to keep your feet loose as your hands loose. So you get much more speed and dynamic ability. So you can accent, 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 accent. Okay, so on, off, 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 that's one foot. Or with two feet, on, off, 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 on, off, on, off, and you go on and on. Playing paradiddles, you don't play paradiddles in your feet. So right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, okay. Playing it fast and faster. Um, so playing with your feet doing it right where you're flicking with your toes and not doing slide step, uh, heel toe, all that. If that works for you, that's fine. Okay. Um, it's a lot of movement and from martial arts I've learned, uh, less movement is better generally, um, generally. Uh, so least amount of movement generally brings maximum efficiency, maximum velocity, maximum impact. Uh, watch old Bruce Lee uh, martial arts videos and uh, Muhammad Ali. Now it's not martial arts, but it's still a form of um, moving your body properly. Uh, early Mike Tyson, uh, when he was on his game, uh, these guys moved with um, incredible mechanics. Okay, we're mechanical when we're playing drums. Guy who plays trumpet, you know, tell the respect for that. Not a lot of mechanics going on there, though. Yes, the thing is involved. Uh, you know, piano and such, again, you know, yes, feeling is involved, but it's not a bodily mechanical thing where we are, again, we're kind of like martial artists of, of, the, of the music world. Alright, so, um, playing uh, buzz rolls on a kit. different dimension to what we can do. So you know instead of you know right. bass drum along with that, right? So we got a...
those kind of riffs. China, fret, high fret, China again. Off the right and right. Arm right in. Not roll. Buzz rolls. When people do think about uh, crescendoing on your cymbals, right? You kind of, well, think of it as like buzz rolling on your, your cymbal. If you incorporate the, the bass, double bass there, it causes a really cool thing. On the hi-hat, right? Really anywhere in the kit, okay? Not there. Okay, so the buzz roll, it's not just for the snare drum, not just for the pad. It can be used across the kit and incorporated with, with uh, drags, flams, accents, um, regular rolls. Uh, no, just regular notes. Yeah, so, um, okay, I hope that gave you some food for thought. Yeah, cool stuff. And uh, again, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe, mailing list on mysticaldrumming.com. Uh, great drum system there, and uh, life-changing life -changing, uh, drum systems, great stuff, okay? Uh, okay, so keep watching, we appreciate it, and thank you.